The city of Detroit is a city known for putting the world on wheels and being home to automotive gurus. However, the city also has a plethora of sailors and mariners that gather together to form a club and a legacy that continues to this day. The Detroit Yacht Club was founded in 1868 by Detroit sailing enthusiasts. Together, these founding members erected a small clubhouse and a boat shed in the late 1870s at the foot of McDougal Street, south of Jefferson. The members then built a clubhouse on Belle Isle in 1891, costing a total of $12,000. That's equivalent to $350,000 today. In 1904, this original clubhouse burnt down, but a new facility was constructed on the same site. The present day clubhouse was dedicated and completed in 1923, costing $1 million. Detroit architect George D. Mason, who designed such buildings as the Detroit Opera House and Mackinac Island's Grand Hotel, designed the Detroit Yacht Club clubhouse. The clubhouse was designed in a Mediterranean revival style that was popular during the late 19th and early 20th century. The cornerstone was laid in 1922 by Gar Wood, a famous hydroplane racer. The new clubhouse presented elegant interior that offered the elite class luxuries only one could imagine. The ballroom, currently under renovation, flaunted a hand-painted ceiling and a masterfully crafted hardwood floor. The club had an indoor pool for members to exercise and enjoy. There are two grandiose staircases, one in the back of the club that led to the main dock. The other is located inside at the main entrance, which only the most fashionably dressed could enter through dining rooms, billiard rooms, and even a daycare were all included. Membership soared to 3,000 within the following year of 1924 and was only for the city's elite members. Families and professional sailors enjoyed the comforts of what high society brought. Swimming races in the river were routinely enjoyed. Hydroplane races, which started in 1921 and continue to this day, flew across the water at record-breaking speeds. Themed dances were often hosted in the ballroom as well. Following the Great Depression and the Second World War, membership dropped significantly, but did recover in 1946 as all bonds were paid off, leaving the club debt-free. The clubhouse would see steady growth all throughout the 50s and 60s. The first addition to the clubhouse was an Olympic-sized outdoor swimming pool and the West End docks were also built, increasing the number of boat wells to 350, meaning more families could live on their boats during the summer months. So our family has been members at the Detroit Yacht Club since 1964. And from 1964 to about 1974, we enjoyed the club as a family, just using the facilities. And around 74, my dad figured it was about time to buy a boat. So from 74 to sometime in the mid 80s, we uh, treated the boat as our summer cottage. So it was a wonderful experiencing, experience growing up on the boat and living there from Memorial Day to Labor Day with all the other families that um, lived on the boat and had great friendships with. And one of the great benefits of living on the boat is we joined the swim team and we had easy access to the pool where we would walk and we would be there right on time for swim practice and we were on the swim team from you know about the same time 74 to 1986. The state of the clubhouse remains unchanged to this day as no additions have been added in recent years. The Yacht Club membership status has also remained consistent enough to stay financially stable and with the summer months on the horizon the club and the sailing season will be in full swing soon enough.